because I have very little self-control, presenting to you my latest order. Um, there was more in the package than just these two, but the other things were games, and they're, they're just going in my collection. All right, so what we got here is one very fucked up Vita and uh, one less fucked up DMG. So unfortunately, I didn't realize this before I bought it, but probably wouldn't have changed my mind anyway. Someone glued the lens onto that, that's annoying. And thankfully there's no major corrosion. Let's just test it out real quick. See if it works. Oh, there is some corrosion in there. That's okay. This is a CPU 05. Ooh. Oh. That is terrible. Hello, lines. My old friend. Sound is super fucked up. Screen is super fucked up, but it seems to work just fine otherwise. Whatever, I don't really care. Game Boys are dumb. I'm done with that. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so this Vita very obviously has at least one thing wrong with it. Put that rubber band in my special spot. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't notice this when I bought it. I had ordered parts for that ahead of time. So it clearly needs a left joystick. Right joystick is a little worse for wear, but Still seems fine. Buttons are fine. Not a little sticky. Let's see if it turns on. Nothing. On my last Vita, I got super lucky and there's a 16 gig card in here. You think there's going to be anything in here? Ah, damn. Nothing. About in the top. This is that accessory port that was never actually used for anything. And the game card slot, nothing. And I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it is a 3G Vita. So at least it has a SIM card. Docomo. Okay. Before popping this thing apart, let's plug it in and see if it does anything. Looks like it's charging. So. Might be that this thing only needs a screen, and this is like mega fucked up. Like it almost seems like this got ripped up or something. If it did, it's not anymore. I did already order parts for this, under the assumption that it needs a new screen, but uh, i thinking that's all it needs, since it seems to be charging just fine. Let's see if it boots. I'm getting nothing. Maybe it just needs to charge for a while, but got a perfectly working Vita here that we can use for parts and try it out. Well, this one has a worn joystick too. I never noticed that. You'd think, you know, with how much time I spend playing these things, that I'd notice this stuff more often. Okay. Let me put that away, because last time I didn't put my tools away and I lost a bit. Yeah, 
there's the memory card. And these screws are just uh, JIS, uh, whatever the hell size this is, triple zero. Call correctly, there's also a couple screws up here. Yep. Don't know if these need to come out yet, or at all for that matter. And is there anything in here? I didn't leave a game in. Nope. There's also a 3G Vita. All right, I think I got everything. I don't remember how these come apart. So I'm just going to keep prying until something gives. Well, apparently that's it. I'm okay with that. The touch screen and the battery. All right, so now I can start swapping parts over from one to the other, uh, but it's probably easier to just uh, remove the motherboard and swap that out. But first, let's try the battery. Well, let's try booting it again real quick. Still nothing. All right. Ooh, this thing's gross. Who'd have guessed? I may have overpaid for this. <laughs> Let me talk about my strategy though. I I only spent like 35 bucks on this thing. I did not spend a lot because no one else bid on it because it was so very clearly fucked up. This wasn't a, oh, well, maybe it just needs to be charged. No, it is very, very obviously broken. Uh, and you can just even see from all the wear on everywhere. Uh, but I had I had faith. I was thinking, man, this thing will clean up nicely. And uh, well, maybe it will, maybe it won't. Well, at least the battery's not bulging or anything. Inside it actually looks pretty clean. Like I don't see any signs of liquid damage or... Even I don't see any signs of anyone else working on this, which is also wonderful to see. So let's see... why it wasn't booting. Is it because the battery is dead? Why, yes it is. It is because the battery is dead. So I'm going to plug that in to my other one. 
plug my other one in to charge. And this one we're going to try again on the good battery, or the known charged battery. I got a blue light, but that's about it. I think it's booting. No way of knowing, though, unfortunately. Touch screen also might not work. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need to get a new screen before I can really do anything. So I don't really want to bother swapping all the parts out into my known good Vita. Since everything on the inside looks good and we know it needs a screen. But I'm also getting nothing on the speakers. Which, I mean, I suppose if the screen is dead and the touch screen too. There's no way to unlock it. Well, that's a bummer. Isn't that a wonderful noise? Well, screw it. You know what? Maybe we will try it. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Just connect that to my charged battery. I'll set it over there. Unplug this one. Unplug this battery. And. I'm going to take this extra Vita motherboard that I just so happen to have, that is the same model. I'm going to plug it in to this battery so I can charge it. Probably isn't a good idea, but eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And we'll let that charge. All right, and now, I guess let's start swapping things around. Let's see what happens. So I wonder how much I need to swap out. Which I need to remove rather. Let's just go for it. Oh god, I hope I have the tool for that. 
last time I struggled. It's a wee Torx, isn't it? Yep. Oh, wow. Apparently these are loose enough to do by hand. And I'm not entirely sure if this needs to be removed. Yes, it does. There's screws under it. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. I wonder if I left this one loose too. Of course not. Not tight enough to destroy my screwdriver though, so that's nice. And if I recall correctly, there's a screw under the camera as well. That one was giving me so much trouble last time. This Jesus thing. Yep. Oh, this whole bracket comes out. That's pretty much everything. Let's see if we can't slip this on out of here. Probably gonna have to take out these brackets too. Yeah. Or at the very least loosen them. done this in a while. Alright, so that comes up, that comes up. Didn't this whole valence come off? I thought it did. Yep. This thing, I'm getting real tired of this camera, man. I'm sorry. It uh, shut off and I kept going willy-nilly. Didn't even notice. All right. Just take out all the freaking screws, man. I'm going to have to do that on this side, too. No, oh, no. I can do that. All right, 
What is this stuck on? Oh, good lord. All right. So, nothing gross on this side either. The question is, how is this thing supposed to connect? Help if we remove this board? He asked, knowing full well that the audience will not answer him when he needs it. Oh, that's just a camera. Man, I could have lifted that out. Shit. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So we're going to take that out. We're going to take this out. And I think that is all we're going to take out. We're going to take this board out too. That way I can just lift that stupid camera module out. Alright, so this is a good board. A good board. Good lord. Okay. Let's 
see if this is also a good board. shoot All right, so not everything's plugged in, but screw it. Good enough, right? I'm going to unplug this other one I got over here. Based on the fact that this CPU is actually a little bit warm to the touch, I'm thinking it booted. So it's probably good enough. <laughs> uh, you gotta plug in the the power switch, or it won't uh, switch on. There it goes. Ta-da! Well, it's in Japanese. It's kind of what I expected. Oh, that's why it wasn't doing anything, because it was at the initial setup here. And this needs to be flush. for sound, but, ta-da, oops, oh god, I don't remember what the settings looks like, I think it's that. What do you think language is, that one? Yeah. So yeah, the battery was charged and it's about half charged now. Okay, cool. So that's set to English. Let's see, that's not what I want. System information, we're at 3.61. Doesn't really matter too much because they're all hackable, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. One funny thing about changing the uh, system language is the error history is still in whatever language uh, the error occurred in, so there's errors in here, but I don't know what the hell any of these are. Um, oops. I don't know that there's anything else we can check, and I can't go home because I don't have this side plugged in. Oh, yeah, I do. Just kidding. 
Um, and there's nothing installed on this. So, yeah. That's that. Let's, uh, I'm going to swap this out. We're going to do one more thing. I mean, obviously, I still need to wait on parts before I can actually fix this for sure. But we're going to swap in the other PCB that I happen to have laying around and see if that works at all. I assume it does. It should. Especially since it was just charging a battery. But, I don't know. I bought this other PCB for about 30 bucks, and I definitely overpaid, seeing as how I paid 35 for this whole other Vita. Uh, but I bought the PCB in particular because I wanted to, and I, I still will, it's just going to take me a while, I want to make an adapter because I hate this stupid proprietary plug. So I want to see if I can't make an adapter to convert this thing over to like USB type C or something. I think that would be pretty, pretty swell. Okay, pops out like that. I'm getting better at this. Okay. And let's try this last one. And this time we'll have no front facing camera, but that is quite all right. Well, there's already a problem there, because that doesn't see... I mean, it might still work perfectly fine for what I intended it on. This one's not seating either. What the fuck? Go. There it goes. And uh, let's not make that same mistake twice. Let's plug in the power switch this time. Maybe. There it goes. And Dollar Donuts, this system menu is going to be on 3.65. Because, I don't know. Why not? Let's take a guess. If it works at all. Well, so far so good. Sony Computer Entertainment. Hey look, this one has never been initialized. A problem occurred with the mobile network feature. It's probably because it's not plugged in. A setup for the use of PSN. I must? I don't want to do this. You know, I just set my birth date 2014, which is just absolutely bizarre to me, but actually feasible. 
like not impossible that someone born in 2014 might be playing with a PS Vita. Probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Of course we can't skip this. Wow, Sony, so cool, man. This is so revolutionary. I've never seen anything like it. It's a deception. The battery level is low. <laughs> well, let's fix that. So I don't want to have to go through this frickin' video again. Oh good. I think it's done. This is the home screen. Oh, 3.35. I was wrong. Neat. Well, there we go. And of course, there's nothing installed on this because this was formatted. Oh, my God. I'm sure there's a way to turn those off in the settings, but I just I can't be fucked. Okay, well, there we go. I thought there was a way to check the battery percentage. It's probably in the system settings. Network error. Hmm. Guess not. Well, there we have it. I have three working PCBs, and as soon as I get another screen, I will have the parts to build a second working Vita. I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this video here because I want to put these together, and uh, I think I want to get to bed here. Um, and the camera's about to overheat, so it's not like you're gonna see much of me putting this thing together before it shuts off, and all that's gonna do is serve to frustrate me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the original PCB back in this thing, uh, just to try and keep the serial number correct, uh, but otherwise, um, I think I'll catch you guys next time, and yeah, I did already order the screen for this thing, uh... I guess I'll go ahead and order some uh, joysticks. Why is this not coming apart? And uh, I guess we'll pick up where I left off, more or less.